All right, viewers, how's it going? The date today is the 4th of May, 2023, and welcome back to Abbott Vehicle Sourcing in Tlangavni. And today we should be having a go in this classic Mercedes-Benz 190E. I think it's a 1991 model. It's a two litre. And yeah, this should be fun. It's in pretty good nick. Let's have a look inside. It's beige cloth interior. Just needs a bit of a hoover out. Oh, wow. It's only done 88,690 miles. Automatic. Got an aftermarket Kenwood stereo. Dual zone heater controls. Ooh, cassettes. I remember these. Bit of Andrew Lloyd Webber. What else have we got? Electric windows, electric mirrors. Yeah, not too bad. Decent space in the back. Let's go and check out the engine. If I can reach the bonnet release. Oh dear. Oh, just about. Fear caught on the pedals. There we go. Where's the key? There it is. Let's see if it will fire up. Ah, she lives. <laughs> Very nice. Let's go and have a look under the bonnet. Uh, did you pull on that? I think you do. There's your engine. Not exactly sure what the performance figures are, but I'll look them up and provide them in the description below. Very nice. So yeah, let's let her warm up and then take her out and see what's what. Okay, and let's go. Seatbelt safety. Yeah, I've got the seatbelt warning light flashing above me. Ooh, electric sunroof. Very fancy. I think we'll leave it open for the time being. All right, into drive and brake off. And let's have a go in the oldest car I think I've ever driven. Careful with it as we exit the car park. And away we go. Oh, where's the accelerator? There it is. Speedometer's got a bit of a mind of its own. There we are, it's working now. There we are, that's 30 miles an hour. Yeah, gear change is good. Rides pretty comfortably. Oh, keep this shut. Yeah, just about got enough room. Having to sit with my knees against the dashboard. Oh god. Having to steer a bit more than usual. Yeah, first impressions. Doesn't feel too bad. a four or five 
know if it's been automatic. Not quite sure. But it's got a sport mode. But I think we'll leave that alone for now. <laughs> Yeah, I can remember on an old Top Gear episode, James May drove a Mercedes 190E. It was the Cosworth version. And yeah, they were off um, in Germany testing old sports saloons. You know, sports saloons that could be used every day and could also be used on a track day, that kind of thing. Yeah, Jeremy had a Ford Sierra Sapphire Cosworth. James had one of these in Cosworth form and Richard Hammond had a BMW M3 of this era. I think that was season 15, episode two. Can't quite remember, but it was season 15. And the accelerator pedal feels a bit weird. It's like hinged at the floor like that. So it takes a bit of getting used to. pretty quiet as well. Interesting to, um, sorry, it, it would be interesting to see what it's like on the motorway on the way back. Ooh. Whoa, there we are, kick downwards. So I'm a foot flat to the floor then. speed it is a bit a bit choppy but it's manageable it's like being an airline pilot in a crosswind you have to make minor adjustments and once again coming back into Gerwen entering the 40 mile an hour limit so I shall see you guys later on. Okay, so coming out of Gerwen at 30 miles an hour, that's just under 1,500 RPM. As I said in the previous test ride video, after this, I'll be having a go in an old Jaguar XJ it might be a bit older than this, so this might not be the oldest car I've ever driven. We'll see. Yeah, the speedometer's a bit jumpy once you get up to speed. Anyway, we're about to head back along the A55. See what this thing, uh, see what this thing's like at motorway speeds. Yeah, 
70 miles an hour, it's a bit vibrating, but that's about 3,250 RPM. Yeah, it feels all right at 70 miles an hour. It's fairly quiet. Just a fair bit of wind noise because it's a windy day. Yeah, the old mileometer is still going. Just clipped over to 88,697. Uh, finding it difficult talking today. Keep messing up. Think of things before I say them and not mess up. That wasn't too bad. I give this car an 8 out of 10. I'd give it a 9 if it was clean, but you know, it's just come in, as I've been told. Also, this mirror is a different shape to that mirror, so, you know, that's a bit odd. Oh, that lorry's right in my ass. <laughs> For an, early, um, for an early 90s car, it actually feels pretty modern you know, because of all the um, electric windows and electric mirrors. Yeah, it's a Mercedes. It's a tough old beast. It doesn't have air conditioning, but it's coming out pretty cool. It says down here, shift to P when parking the car. Depress the brake pedal when shifting out of P or neutral. I think we all know how an automatic gearbox works. <laughs> True, but I think the 190E is the um, predecessor of the C class or the E class. Not quite sure. I think there's a clue in the name 190E, so it must be the E class. Or maybe it's an entirely separate model. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's pretty good. back where you belong. Yeah, I think it has power steering as well, because when you're stationary, the steering wheel doesn't feel incredibly heavy. But anyway, that's that. So yeah, thanks very much for watching this test drive of this 1991 Mercedes-Benz 190E. And peace out.